What's up, everyone? Welcome to No Report. This is Lewis here. The internet has turned on JLo, especially on TikTok, where all the stories are coming out of previous uh, encounters with uh, JLo. There's even accusations that she doesn't really sing her music and stuff like that. I never really looked into it that hardcore because I'm not really into her music, but apparently there are people stepping up and calling her a fraud. Her sales for her concert haven't sold, and then there's a controversy with P. Diddy. But the reason I'm playing these is because a lot of these stories that people are posting up um, are, they go hand in hand with stories I've heard even before TikTok. So we're gonna go over a few of them and react because you all are asking me for them. So let's get this lady first, uh, her encounter, her nightmare encounter with JLo, uh, and she's on TikTok, all, all Jane Willens. Let's get that one. Uh, let's see what she has to say about JLo. It could be a good thing, I don't know. Lopez right now. I just wanted to share a personal story of Jennifer Lopez when she was a judge on American Idol. Mm. I've never talked about this on my TikTok, like any of my American Idol like history, but I was on the show when I was 16 years old and um, I like made it to Hollywood. I was like actually on the show and Jennifer Lopez was a judge at that time. Mm. So this is just like my initial like audition in front of the judges which is not really an initial audition there are like 10 rounds that you have to go through before you ever see the judges so they, she probably didn't make it on tv but anyways it was jennifer lopez harry connick jr and keith urban keith urban was like yes like i love it it, it like you sound like you're auto-tuned for my audition and i was like oh my god he was like that means I she's on key I played the guitar, I sang Born This Way by Lady Gaga. Um, and such great feedback from him. Harry Connick Jr., such great feedback. You wanna know what Jennifer Lopez said? She goes, um, I really like your shoes. That's pretty misogynistic, J-Lo. Misogynistic. If a guy did that, mm misogynistic i do believe the story by the way which were like four seasons ago michael kors that i got at goodwill but honestly the performance was a little sleepy to me so you mean to tell me you have harry connick jr which is an award-winning pianist composer singer he's like one of the top 50 60 selling, I think it's like top 50, 60 selling recording artists in the United States by the RIAA. And Keith F.N. Urban. You mean to tell me that they both gave me like solid feedback on like vocals, presentation, branding, et cetera, et cetera. And all Jennifer Lopez had to say is, I like your shoes. The performance was sleepy. I'm sorry, what was I supposed to be doing? Was it this? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I do believe this story. Uh, of course, JLo didn't like you. Uh, you probably sing better and you're much more beautiful than she is. Let's check out the next story. Hey, that's going on on this platform. I'm gonna join the Jennifer Lopez conversation and from a totally different perspective. So let's go. Now I'm gonna approach the Jennifer Lopez conversation from a different perspective. And I don't think I'm the first one that has made this kind of video, but I just wanna give my two cents, even though nobody cares about what I have to say. And what I'm gonna say probably is gonna trigger a lot of people, but Jennifer Lopez is not beautiful. She's not, and let me prove you what do you guys think? Is Jennifer Lopez beautiful? How she's not beautiful or more beautiful than any of us could be. Most um, celebrities I've seen, like I could go to the mall and see better looking people, but whatever, they're on TV and the people in the mall are not. So here is Jennifer Lopez without makeup. That is um, proof number one. She looks good. And this is me with no makeup, recreating the no makeup look. 
and here is her mm. skin showing her naturally glowing skin. And this is me also showing you my naturally. Oh, they both look good. I mean, you know. Glowing skin. Kind of. I only use drugstore items. And this one is probably an older picture, but I just wanted to throw it in there too. And this is me regretting that picture. I know it's not very flattering, but you'll get the point. So now we've seen how Jennifer Lopez looks without makeup. So now let's see how she looks with a full face of makeup. Not sure where this picture was taken or when, probably 2016 because of her makeup around that area, 2015, 2016, smoky eyes, very pretty makeup, very pretty hair. Now that's me recreating that look. It's not very close, but stay with me. Here is another full glam of Miss J-Lo. Is it close enough? Stay with me. And here's the final all glam look from Jennifer Lopez. And here's the final look. So now let's recap. So now why do I say that Jennifer Lopez is not um, as beautiful or as pretty? Now remember with J-Lo, they're both good looking women here, but what do you guys think of her commentary? It's a little weird so far. Well, with JLo, in my opinion, it's all about the booty. Um, that's what she was hired for with Selena, I guess. Yes, everybody um, says that she is. And, and don't get me wrong, she's pretty, but I don't think she's beautiful. There, there are certainly more beautiful people Show than us. her. And I think that any of us could look like her. Granted, if we have the access to her money, her glam team, and all the filters. Now, this is the way I look. And I try to recreate her looks using a filter. So I don't have everything that she has. Obviously, I don't have a glam team and I don't have her money. There's only one thing that I have. Let me show you. And here's what Jennifer Lopez and I and all of us have in common and have access to is filters. Oh, I need that filter. So that's the only thing that we can have access to it because we don't have our money. At least most of us don't have our money and we don't have access to all the medical treatments and glam team that she has. Now we all are beautiful in our own special way. Disclaimer. So this is me without any filter, without beauty mode. And as you can see, my skin has some discoloration and my under eyes lost a little bit of volume. My jaws are a little bit um, just losing volume too. But I need that beauty okay. filter. Hey, again, we do not have access and we can aspire to be like those celebrities because unless we win the lottery, we most likely never be able to look like that on a daily basis. What we see online on social media or tabloids is only just a very small window of it's true. What their day to day life is and yes jennifer lopez is a pretty girl but i don't think she is the most beautiful girl out there we all have the potential to be like that so let me know on the comments do you think jennifer lopez is beautiful or do you agree with you know my theory that we all can introvert brunette look like her and what do you think is she is she stepping over a line i don't know by the way, what filter was that? I need it. I need it. Let's check out this final story, react to it. I have a problem, and that is that uh, JLo copyright claimed all of us. I told. Yep, she is copyright claiming people on TikTok allegedly, or her crew is, or someone is. My friends, this, and they did not believe me that like JLo would have the power to remove a lowly person like myself's videos from their TikTok. But in four years, and four different accounts of me sharing nothing but pop culture content. The only time I've ever had shit taken down is this week, and it's all of my JLo content. So, I mean, that's really sad. Really sad. I have like, what, 40,000 followers? Girl, girl, 
That's crazy. That's from Joss TV. What do you guys think, man? Do you think all these uh, all this hate is unwarranted? Uh, do you agree? <sighs> Let me know. Subscribe if you want more of this. You're out.